What's up, everybody? Gibson's Lawn Service checking back in with another one. Uh, I did just finish that leaf removal. Uh, I had a client call me. One of my clients I have is a real estate agent, and they always, every time they sell a house, they uh, refer me work. They refer me to the homeowner. And uh, like I said, all of my work is right here in Ocean Springs. And what I do now, you know, hey, because what they do, like I answer the phone, Gibson's line service. They'll be like, yes, is this Micah? And I'd be thinking, man, it's either a bill collector, somebody trying to sell me something. And I'd be like, uh, yes. Oh, okay, yeah, um, I'm looking for lawn care and I got your uh, information from such and such. And uh, so they called me, told me what all they wanted done. They want the leaves removed. I'm gonna be going back with some more pine straw and some flowers when the spring hit. Uh, so that's gonna be year round property because it's surrounded by trees, which is awesome. So I went and looked at the property today, gave them a price, knocked it out. While I was there working, uh, one of the neighbors come out. They said, hey, uh, can we, can, do you have a card? Um, so I gave them my info. I don't keep, uh, I don't have my wallet. I don't carry cards on me anymore. This is a new generation. You have to change with the time. I have a black card in my wallet. It looks like a credit card. Everybody always got the doggone phone in their hand. So what I do, like, yeah, I got a card. You have your phone? They'd be like, oh, yeah. I'd be like, just put this over the camera and you'll have all my information. And when they do that, when they go boop, that's it. They got my information. Uh, they got my uh, all the services I offer, how I be paid. When they, when they take a picture of that, Boom, my info is right there on their phone. Gibson, they got my name, my number, my Google site, uh, all the services I offer, and how I like to be paid. You can also set up Venmo, PayPal, and Cash App where they can pay you right there, but I don't use those platforms anymore. But they told me, and I looked at her yard, she got a lot of shrubs and pine. She got a lot of shrubs and a lot of sago palms need to be trimmed back. And I'm going to have to haul it to the dock. If, if she, if they have me do that, that's going to be about a $2,000 job, $2,500. Um, so I did finish that property. And uh, it's funny because people always pass your name around. It's a dog sitter. It's a it's a pet sitter, dog sitter, whatever you want to call it. These people are literally hire babysitter to keep their animals. Anyway, what well, is one lady, she always be babysitting for the pets to a lot of to a lot of people that got some money so when i pulled up at the property i got when i pulled up i said man the client home whatever so i got straight to work and she come out and she was like uh hey i was just speaking such and such i said yeah um i said yeah i didn't i'm sorry i didn't you know recognize the vehicle she said oh yes miss such and such um i already told them all about you um they're awesome people, blah, blah, blah. Because what happened, if I'm not mistaken, my real estate agent, the real estate agent, I do her home. Like I said, when she sell a house, she referred me. And I'm just assuming they must have ran it by her. Oh, yeah, we're going to get a lawn guy. She was like, hey, this guy's good as well. I was, oh, that's the guy we're hiring. So that works good. That's why I say don't rip people off. Don't rip people off because it, word going to spread. So, um, and it's, it's awesome how you can learn different things to kind of tweak your business. Like when I do leaf removals now, I charge $100 an hour plus the uh, $75 dump fee. Oh, 85 Last year I was at $75 dump fee. Now I'm at 85 So And I put my $85 dump fee in there. So when I send the, est the estimate over, I have, in my mind, I'd be like, well, I could probably do this in however many hours. So I put that on that leaf removal base price and then one dump fee, 85, and then it had a normal price. So I gave her my price, she was like, sound good, and then she was asking me about recurring maintenance, and I explained to the, her how all that works. So uh, we did that. Um, I'm waiting for her to give me a Google review, because uh, I told her, don't pay me until you get home and see it, but like she told me, she don't get off until five or six. I said, well, just you know, whenever you look at it, probably be the weekend. Uh, but like I, I also explained to her, leaves is constantly falling right now. The leaves not done falling, but I'm going to be going back just mulching the leaves up. So whenever she see the property, she's going to pay me. And then I uh, also I, I requested for her to leave me a, a Google review. So we're going to go from there. We're going to keep growing. We're going to keep grinding. We're going to keep stacking. Tomorrow, I don't know if it's going to rain or not, but I didn't have time to go to the dump. It don't matter if it rain or not. I can go to the dump. Uh, but I'm putting my 
Red Max, back, Red Max backpack blower in the shop. It's uh, when you pull it, when you pull the string, it go and eh, eh, something in there ain't catching. Uh, I've had the thing about five years now. No, I had about six years. That's the first problem I had. Well, I had one problem a while back. I think the gas line was clogged, but I just kept running it until it cleared up. But that's the first problem. Uh, I gotta buy a small little black piece for my for my steel for my steel backpack blower. Was where it, where it go through on the strap and it holds. It broke, so right now I got one strap. And I gotta hold the other strap on the backpack blower. I had it rigged up. I had it kind of just tied and it was working for a while. Cause it's, it's hard. I can't find that little bitty black piece. Uh, and then I gotta, I'm gotta. i gonna put my Red Max trimmer in the shop and I'm gonna put my steel trimmer in the shop. Hopefully that'll be good. And then I'm gonna probably do some oil changes on all my equipment, that way I'll be ready to go. And then I gotta get two trailer tires. And then I gotta go buy this welding machine so I can get my trailer gate welded. I was just waiting for some money to flow in before I started doing all this. But that's what it is, man. I'm about to actually go in here, eat, get a nap, so I can go to my full-time job tonight. And I'll see y'all on the next one.